Hi there and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire on Path of the Damned. We've just had an encounter with various opponents here. Give me a real challenge. Namely Sand the Blights. That just came out of nowhere. Our <laughs> new companion, a mother from the Xorips, has warned us but we persisted and now yeah what is it it wasn't as dangerous but you can see that there's a lot of skeletons lying around here a lot of primal winds desert worm parts to find there's a pistol in a corpse and something in that skeleton look at that healing hands what's that let's give that to our priest Let's have a look at that. Lesser lay on hands. That is what it grants. That is even rhymes. Gloves, gauntlets and braces of a variety of benefits. Okay. So they are nothing special. But lay on hands. Yeah, we'll give it to him. We could give it to someone else like christine but they need to do damage and actually kevava looks pretty good in that thing i also want something to like that to wear <laughs> maybe another headdress though of course <sighs> very interesting here the i think it was called the broken spare canyon or something need to look around though this is pretty big there could be something to find even though most of it would be maybe generic decoration i don't know it still looks fine and finding more it's not out of the question here okay let's continue In the spirit of old school, right? <laughs> you always want to find more. Like that ruined tower. What's in there? The fragment of a fallen keep stands like a monument to ruin and a beacon for plunder. What's there? The remains of a tower lie strewn upon the ground before you. The stone structure seems to have tumbled over during an earthquake. The tower appears abandoned. Not even a corpse remains. Well, we'll search anyways and find nothing and find a tattered grimoire an elementalist grimoire and find flint and tinder what's that sharp piece of flint to be struck with steel and a small amount of tinder is all that is needed to start a fire in most situations interesting and we've searched every inch and then We go back to the Isle of the Lost Xorib, how we've named it. What's that? Beggar of Wifruth from the Principi. Hmm. There's four deadlight. And... Hmm. Yeah, we're still on that quest. You see, mapping the archipelago. Discovered an island inhabited by a clan of Xorips. So, then. Let's see what else we may find here. Maybe a little bit to the west, I don't know. There's a burial site. Beggar with Ruth. Nah, we don't want you, Beggar with Ruth. Good, go away. <coughs> go away. What's that? There's a burial site, the Osar Channel. We'll just have a look. What's that? Come on, we want to land. Yeah, there we go. Let's have a look at the burial site. Huana tribes traditionally heap their dead onto pyres or give their bodies to the deep sea. Mounds like these suggest that Arangas of honor, wealth, and distinction were buried nearby. 
seems like you come upon a flight of white steps that descend deep into the earth. Chill air radiates from a dark doorway at the bottom of the stairs. It smells faintly of dust and cold stone. And we find coins, Azatan we shells, and we find rare gems, peridots, and we find nothing else. Let's look at the Osa channel then. As you travel northwest, you discover a broad channel, separating you from the flat expanse of a sandy islet. A wooden bridge spans the waterway, easily wide enough to accommodate a cart and horse. A crowd throngs the bridge, an eclectic menagerie of clean-coated valians, Aumawa in bright and colorful robes, and even the old Orlan. Traders? Hopefully. Down the hill, by the water's edge, a small cluster of Aumawa have gathered. Um... down the hill by the water's edge. Maybe... when there's a crowd on the bridge and the Amawa near the water? We'll just approach the Amawa near the water for now. From the shore you see that the channel's current seems significantly stronger than it had from afar, perhaps fed by the recent storms. The Iwana gathered here garbed in thin robes and little elves watch as you approach, one steps forward, her own gown in far brighter colors than those around her. The leader. She rises an eyebrow. You look an islander, born and bred, but you're no Huana. She nods towards the bridge. If you come to watch, the better viewings from the bridge. Aha. What's this all about? The arc of her hand describes first the swimmers, then the waters, then the islet on the other side. They challenge the Osa channel. The rains fell and the waters run swift. They must swim swifter yet. For each who finishes, there's honor. For the one who wins, there's more. Oh. oh. Examine the competitors. We shall. Christine. Christine Duskwalker looks over the Omawa. Eyes lingering on a heavily muscled bald woman, a lean blonde man, and a gangly young man in his late teens. I reckon the blonde has an advantage, being both strong and compact. Stands the best chance of winning. She chuckles a hand flat upon her stomach, the one Nagati favors as sure as the tide. But you don't miss her glance towards the wiry blonde Amawa. Shall we join the race? Of course, I'd like to join the race. Several of the gathered Huana chuckle. The woman merely smiles, bowing her head slightly. Changing Usa, it is always done by Aumawa to prove strength and stamina in the water. I stay afraid it may be too much for another kith. Um, I thought the Yuana were traditionally a welcoming people. She bows her head. Then what welcome would we provide if we fed our guests unknowing to Ngati? When her gaze returns to yours, she bears a small smile. But you are not unknowing, I say. She nods and motions you towards the channel. Then go join the others at the water's edge. Leave your clothes upon the rocks and they will warm you after. I have to get naked for this? <laughs> um... No, we'll go to the water and strip down, come on. You shrug off your brine crusted clothes and yet lay your belongings on the rocks. <laughs> that might be a trap. The swimmers slip out of their own robes and choose places on the stone outcroppings overlooking the channel. Each Aumawa's tightly muscled skin glimmers slightly as if dusted with shavings of silver. The woman stands to the side. When my hand falls, then you go. First to the bend takes the prize. She lifts her hand above her head. You spring off the stone and crash into the cool, crisp salt water with the other swimmers. As hard as you kick and pull, the current pushes back with the strength of a bear. You keep pace with Iwana, though your muscles burn with the effort. One of the Iwana you notice struggles to remain in the pack. No, he's struggling just to stay above water. His desperate gasps carry down the channel. Hmm... No, we'll help him to shore. 
Yeah, that's not going to win at any price here. We're going to help these people. Help him to the shore. <laughs> Just great. The waters of the Oza Channel press against you, slowing you, then sweeping you back. Soon you too are struggling to keep your head above water. An arm wraps around you. The heavily muscled Aumawa woman kicks towards land, you in one arm, the gangly teen in the other. The water's edge you clamber onto solid ground, heaving and cuffing. The lean man outpaces the others. Reaching the goal first, the crowd cheers as he strides out of the water and he bows to them from the hip. The crowd on the bridge thins and the commotion dies down. Your journey continues. Hmm. Oh, this small fishing village looks prosperous enough to welcome trade with outsiders and locals alike. Then let's go there and watch. Minus 50%, that's so good. Silverfin gives two intellect and one crew moral, and Hackfish gives one resolve. Water, of course, is not that good. Silverfin. I think we should buy as much Silverfin as we can, and Hackfish is also not bad. Because it's very cheap, too. Water? We're nearly out of water, so. Let's buy it as well. We can maybe sell to Let's sell all the stuff that we don't need. These things here. And then some armors. The Juana Cave. <laughs> Let's trade for now. There we go. The fisherman's hut. Is there more here? There is something here on the coast, but not really. Hmm. Where to go next? What is what is that? What is Dikila? Look, that we have explored, I think. There's another island here. Ah, let's go back onto our ship and sail away. Dream our dream. And be absolutely super careful because we don't want to go <laughs> to Ford Deadlight, too. Hmm. Just sail a little bit, I don't know. Look, there's a, there's one more island. Even more. Ah, there's something. For deadlight is too hard for us now. Rune powder. And the shipwreck. Huddles in the crashing surf, its splintered beams rising like rips from the water. Wreck appears abandoned. We explore it and find a cannon in surprisingly long good condition. The Imperial long gun. Woo! As a standard artillery piece of the Adiran Imperial Navy, the Imperial long gun has proven to be a highly effective if specialized weapon. Its long barrel and innovative pitching gun carriage gives the cannon an impressive reach but limits its ability to fire at nearby targets. This drawback is in line with the Adiran naval doctrine, which emphasizes engaging enemy vessels at long range with precise fire. What else? Some ammunition, even. Who is that? The well weathered Cormio. Oh, oh, uh, the steel preach. This looks like it could be a problem. And there's some kind of problem here as well I don't know uh, this ship leaves us alone that's good oh there's an island a burial site the crew is dehydrated Ooh, that's not good what's happened here 
We should have water, right? We bought water. A lot of water. Where is that water? Rum. There's the water. 212. Yeah, and rice. Hmm. Let's give them something more to eat. More rice. There we go. I do we have the cannon. Ah. Could add another cannon. The wooden hog nose and the imperial long gun. Nice. So the defiant grows its stature. And a valiant mill. Meeting places for merchants. Good things. And now... The morale is terrible. <laughs> My god! <laughs> Brawls among the crew. Well then... We'll explore this island in the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Manuel Khan signing out. Have a great time until next time.